Hello everyone and welcome to the 44th episode of the Top 5 Weekly. In this series, each week we look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam. We analyze each one of the submissions, we discover their features and finally we test them out here in the world of Stormworks. Now, if you're enjoying these videos, comment below and let me know else you'd like to see any of our future videos. While you're there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and with the little bell icon to notify about upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said, Let's get straight into it and get started with the first creation of this week's episode. And kicking off this episode with the first creation, we have the Kite Boat. This is done by a content creator called Beep Grover. Now, this is meant to be a kite boat used for watercraft, sports and outdoor activities. Now, pretty much what I can see from his uh, work page here, what he's gone and done is a small little boat that has um, some parachutes on it. Obviously, we don't have sails in game yet, um, but obviously he's gone and used the parachutes in place of that. Uh, a couple specs on this thing. Uh, Electric motor, 75 kilometers per an hour. On sail, 45 kilometers per an hour. That's with 100% wind. Um, power reverse, and there's a couple other different things in there. So let's go ahead, let's spawn this in and see how it works here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the first creation of the episode, you can see we have the small little kite boats. Now, he did say in the workshop that this thing will tremble or actual impatience because you're not in it. It wants you to be in it. So we're gonna go down, um, pretty basic design as far as I can see. It looks like it's got some buoys on the side. Uh, we have a whole bunch of like hydrofoils and things and it seems like all these parachutes here uh, on the outside. It seems like we also have a little bit of electric motor. So let's get in it, let's just go. So one is kite moving when moving back, okay. And two is a light, okay. And then I think you just use the electric motors here, uh, yeah. There we go. Okay, so we've got the electric motors. You can see the hydrofoil has been activated now. Uh, we're just skimping along quite nice and easily. All we need to do now apparently is let's go and turn the wind up to 100%. Okay, and which direction is the wind going? If I'm correct, it's going in that direction. So let's just clear there. And apparently what you have to do is you have to turn it backwards and go in reverse. So let me just go in reverse here. Okay, and then, oh, that didn't look good. I'm not under the water. Okay, let's get back up. Okay, and now, there we go. Okay, but that means we're going backwards now. Let's turn it and see if we can go forward. There we go, look at that. Now we're using the wind. Yeah, I don't know if we're going about 45. Oh yeah, we're doing about 45. I guess we could increase that by just putting the electric motor on. Ooh, well, apparently the wind's going that direction. Okay, so you can see it's now just gone and stopped. So let's go and try it again. Uh, I don't know why we have to go be going backwards. So let's try again. Oh uh, wait, maybe we can't use this again. I think, I don't know, I think we can. Let's go and try and just get it in reverse here. Okay, and... I don't think we can reuse this. I could be wrong. There was, there's definitely enough wind. No, I don't think we can reuse it. I think it's a one-time, a one-time deal. Um, but pretty cool, pretty cool creation. Um, I definitely haven't seen this one before, if I'm correct, or something of this unique at least. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one of the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Grunman TFB-1C Avenger Torpedo Bomber. That's a little bit of a mouthful, but yes, this is a torpedo, uh, torpedo bomber plane. This is done by a content creator called Kevin Yu. Now, pretty much it's a single engine aircraft from World War II, um, obviously United States aircraft really quite cool apparently it's got a couple cool features in there uh so let's go ahead let's spawn this and see how it works here in the world of stormworks and spawning in the next creation you can see this thing looks gorgeous really really quite nice i love the wings there i even love the paint the paint scheme here inside the wings um really cool really really nice now going along there uh it seems like we have some paint blocks going um we always have the landing gear the main um, obviously propeller and engine going along some more decals uh, what else got some lights built into the wings there uh, seems like I might 
I don't know, maybe he missed a paint block there. Um, seems like we have some sort of interior. We'll get to that in a couple seconds. Going along, nothing really else um, on the outside here. There is a door here at the back. Uh, let's go and... Ooh, uh, I think I'm half glitched through that. Okay, let's try again. Nope, okay. Uh, let's see, jump. Nope. Uh, nope, okay. Mm. Nope, okay. I'm just gonna get into that seat. Wait, is there a seat there? Yes, there is. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Okay, so we're inside. Uh, can we close this door now? Yes, okay. Uh, what do we have at the back? So it seems like we have a gunner seat here at the back. Uh, a nice, what is this? Radio, okay, circuit breaker, cool. And then going up to the next seat, seems like another gunner seat here. Fire, left, right. Okay, I'm guessing we need some power. To, oh, there you go, turret. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, let's back in the seat. Left and right. Okay, and fire. Okay, cool. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, let's go and get into the... I'm guessing... Wait, hold on. What is this here? This is... A little light. Um, is this a map? Yes, this is a map. Okay, so navigator. Oh, we open the canopy here. Let's get up on top. And getting into the main pilot seat here. Let's go and close this canopy and see what we have. Uh, we have the throttle over here. We seem to have gun sight, bomb doors, wing flaps, and crawl flaps. Seems like a like instructions. Okay. Nav light, backlight, gyro, starter, fuel pump, wing fold, heater, and battery canopy. Okay. So let's see if we can get this going. It seems like takeoff, wings locked. Okay. Mm, let's go and just snap lights, back lights, gyro, fuel pumps, wing fold. Nope. Okay, it needs power. Battery on. Let's get the engine on. Okay, let's get the wing fold. Ooh, very nice. That was very smooth. Cool. Let's get our throttle up. Okay, seems like we're good. Let's get crawl flaps on. Okay, seems like we're turning here. <clears throat> okay. Let's get our brakes off. And let's get our throttle up. See if we can take off here. Yeah, pretty nice and easy. Cool. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Uh, next is, so, flaps down, wing flaps, ooh, look at that, that's cool, slows down a bit, bomb doors, gun sights, oh, nice, little gun sight there, cool, uh, what else do we have, nothing else, really, uh, landing gear, yeah, three, nice, okay, hook, the back to obviously land on a um, aircraft carrier cool seems like it handles quite well okay oh i love this view just look at that that is absolutely gorgeous okay um let's get our bomb doors Ooh, that is a big bomb okay let's imagine we're gonna go and die let's get the gyro off here Okay, we're gonna go and bomb that island. Okay. Seems very quite easy to to fly. Let's go and drop this bomb. So drop torpedoes to Oh that's a torpedo, it shouldn't really be dropped on land. Meh, why not? Let's drop it. Dunk. Uh, landing yep there we go very nice really quite nice let's get to see the bomb door there yeah cool let's get that closed let's turn our gun off nice and we can have a look at our torpedo here there it is down there perfect this is a really lovely airplane beautiful absolutely looks gorgeous uh, especially flying over here with the view distance really cranked up really really quite nice 
Let's go ahead and end this one. Let's go and move on to the next creation of the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the side B4 Armageddon. This is a plane done by a content creator called Utopia. Now, you know his work already on the workshop. Now, this uh, actual creation includes two missions to spawn in one of the Harrison Air Base and one of the Crates of Island. Now, pretty much what it is, it's a plane, it's bomber. Uh, it's got a couple of cool features in it. Not much on the workshop. So let's go ahead, let's spawn this in and see how it works here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the next creation, you can see this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, not too big, got a really nice profile. Nothing much on the outside, uh, but a beautiful design here with these wings, uh, like a V-shaped wings. We seem to have the landing gear along with that, I'm guessing bomb doors and a hatch. More landing gear areas, nothing really else on the outside. Seems like we have obviously the top panel there. So let's go inside, let's see if we can get in here. So let's open that up, let's get in the seat and let's close that door. Okay, so first off we seem to have comms. Okay, so this is radio, pretty straightforward. I love this cockpit, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, oh, I don't like that though. Um, munitions, so munitions systems. Okay, so it seems like I have the bombs here. We'll come back to that while we're flying. Uh, we have co-pilots and we have pilots. We have, let's see, times and screens. Okay, I'm guessing we need power, battery, fuel, humidity, rain, nav lights, landing lights. Interior lights, we can't turn that on without power. Hold on, so we've got altitude hold, sweep control, taxi mode, uh, engine 4321, engine PID, afterburners, landing gear, weather alarms, low fuel alarms, ignition, primary power, engine power, gyro, disengage brakes. Let's get that off. Okay, now let's get the lights on. There we go. Oh, so red or white, nice. Uh, we can see. We have a bunch of screens here. Nice. Seems like a monitor. Cool. Okay. Next is engine PID. Yeah, why not? Fuel pumps. Ignition engine power. Okay, let's get throttle up. Altitude hold. Let's get that ready just in case. Uh, taxi mode. No. Ignition hold. Okay, wait for the RPS to go. Throttles all the way up. Seems like we're good. RPS is slowly climbing. I actually feel like I should put the brakes back on. Oh, let's see. <clears throat> do we have enough power to take off? Yep, we do. Wow, look at that. That's absolutely gorgeous beautiful beautiful plane let's get the landing gear up landing gear is being tucking away awesome let's get afterburners wow now we're moving okay let's get our altitudes are we at 200 already yep we are cool Okay, so we're pretty much flying now. We don't need to do anything. Uh, let's go and get to the bomber door. Bomber's hatch. Uh, forward Bombay. Okay, hold on. Munition systems on. Forward Bombay. Open. Rear Bombay open. Let's go and see that underneath. Okay. Uh, there goes all the bombs for the back bay. Uh, I don't remember firing them. Eh. So that's fire. Okay, let's get the front ones going. Uh, maybe we're going too fast. Let's turn the afterburners off. Hold on. Yep, there we go. And they got they went. Oh, awesome! Really beautiful plane. Really smooth. Uh, let's go and actually see how maneuverable this will be. So let's take the altitude hold off. Oh yeah, you can you can get it angled quite nicely. See how it turns here. Yeah, I did forget to close the bomb bays. Oh, what a gorgeous plane! Really nice, really good one. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next creation of the episode. 
Right, and moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Small Harbor. This is an environmental mod done by a content creator called Map. Now, as it says in the name, it's meant to be a small harbor. It's got some houses, it's got a crane on it. Let's spawn in, let's see how it works here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning the creation in. Um, so it seems like we have a couple different things here. We have a radio tower of some sort just over here. Uh, it seems like, yeah, it's got the, yeah, just the radio pieces on there. You seems like you can climb up. Uh, along with that, we have some fuel stores here. Let's go and see, it looks pretty straightforward. Fuel stores, just diesel, diesel, and then a winch and some connectors. Okay, uh, what do we have there? So we have the big crane. So obviously this is to replace the original crane that we did have on the island, or sorry, the second original crane that we had on the island. Uh, seems like we have some cameras everywhere. Uh, let's go, electrical connector. Let's go and climb up, let's see how this works. So I'm not too sure what that thing is there. But I like the ropes or the winches holding that crane up. Let's go and get up into here. Okay, so we have some controls. Seems like we have mag, mag or left, right, up, down, winch up, winch down. Okay, so monitor. Okay, lights. Where are the lights? I'm missing interior lights. Okay, let's see. Winch down. Okay, winch up left oh that is shaking a bit but it's moving it's working fine okay what do we have right crane up and crane down let's go have a look at that oh, that's pretty straightforward good nice and stable too so you can get it all the way down i wonder how far it goes though Oh, wow. okay, so it stops there. Okay, let's get that crane back up. Okay, so cool, nice little crane. Obviously, I think it's more than capable of lifting quite heavy, ooh, quite heavy loads. Uh, quite a nice one, let's see what else we have. So it looks like we have some parking spots and some little building. What's in the building, it looks like? Okay, looks like a generator of some sort. Let's get these turned on. Yes, this is our generator here, okay. Cool. Uh, electrical connector. Looks like we got some fuel. Some lights. Didn't see a button to turn this on though. Hold on. Okay, so there's all the lights now. Turn on. It seems like we have a little siren alarm and some more fuel tanks. Uh, okay, these don't. These look like they're just providing um, fuel over there. Okay, some more small buildings. Resting room. Okay storage cabin okay so nice little area over here uh what else on this side seems like a non-accessible room okay more parking let's get in what's this building hmm. okay what's this it's okay it looks like firefighting equipment and Looks like some, ah, uh, like this looks like a security station of some sort. Radio station, speaker, okay. Let's open that. What else do we have? Okay, so we've got some nice little docks here. That's cool. That's cute. Nicely designed. Love the little piers underneath them. And all the tires along them. Cool. So yeah, really nice creation. Nice addition uh, to add to to obviously go and add to any of your missions really or saves um obviously this just goes and that's directly onto the creative island i uh, don't need anything else seems like it has the fuel there it has more fuel here electric generators i'm worried obviously how long this generator would last for in theory because uh, you don't have unlimited amount of fuel um but yeah pretty cool pretty cool let's go ahead let's move on to the next one of the episode and moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the large ship fuel pier. This is done by a content creator called Sheepdog. You guys know his work already on the workshop. Now, this is meant to be a fuel pier for ships, as it says in the name. Um, does not spawn on a workbench. It's custom, custom made. It's environmental mod, pretty much. Uh, so you need to spawn it in. Looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead. Let's spawn this and see how it works here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the last creation, I've just spawned it here at the creator base, just so we can actually get to it. Now this looks absolutely gorgeous. 
He's even gone as far as adding rust onto these piers. Uh, absolutely awesome. So it seems like we have two outriggers here where you can go and tie your ships to. Uh, along with that is, if I'm correct, yeah, there's another one on that side. Uh, we have some tires. Let's go and get up onto the, look like the walkway. Okay. Got some lights. Cool. Looks like it just carries on so you can park your ship along here. Well, I guess any side really. Uh, along with that is moving along. What else do we have? Seems like a door to get in. What's in here? So it looks like an engine. Power systems will go. Yeah, well, let's go up there and let's see what we have up here. So, oh my word. Okay. Um, red lights. We have. Oh, okay. This seems like a little bit of a walkway outside. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. What is this though? So this looks like engine controls. Uh, pump system. Okay. What does that do? Ah, okay. So there's emergency valves there. Uh, wow. Okay. That's a lot of stuff going on. So camera, camera, disconnect, support cable magnets. We have marine radio, marine radio. What's looks, I'm guessing these are meant to be microphones. Yep, uh, we have pump systems. We have a little bit of a scanner here. So radar, that's awesome. Let's go and get outside. Let's see what else we have. So we have, seems like the main fuel pumps here. Oh, it looks really cool. Uh, going up onto the actual crane. Okay, it doesn't seem, ooh, doesn't seem like you can climb up that. Uh, I'm just trying to think how we're gonna get back up now. You can just see here the amount of detail that's gone into that. Absolutely awesome. Okay, let's get up here. And so that is our fuel tank over there. Don't know why it's got the cables going into the water. Let's go have a look at that. So unlock, dump fuel into ocean. No, uh, what is in here? Oh, that's pretty cool. So it looks like an electrical box of some sort. Can we close that door? Uh, okay, cool. That's nice. I love that. What do we have here? So it looks like output intake. Cool. What do we have? Don't know what this does. It doesn't seem. Uh, I wonder what that is. Maybe just a way to obviously see the fuel. Okay. Anything else along here? No, just another walkway of some sort. Okay. Now question I have okay so you see there is your connectors so you can get refuel stuff okay how do we control that crane maybe from in here let's go and double check yes there we go okay so you can see we can control it from here so gantry left and right a and d oh there we go uh fuel hose up and down ws yep there we go uh, support cable up and down. Okay, cool. Disconnect and support cable magnets. Okay, nice. Um, I don't think it goes out. No, it doesn't. That's cool. Really nice, really, really nice. Beautifully designed. Um, as you can see here, it's got everything you need pretty much to refuel any ship. Uh, seems like I probably would have tons of fuel. I said I'm not too sure about the water and the hoses and things that go into it. It could just be for some other things, maybe to keep. That could just be for cooling. I'm guessing for the engines. Uh, I could be wrong though. But yeah, love the detail on this thing. Uh, you guys know I love detail. But yeah, absolutely awesome and a really nice one to end this episode off with. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there. If you want to see these creations in game, definitely go check out the links in the video description and thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it entertaining and informative as always, and we'll see you in the next one.